story of some guys who volunteer for a trip to hell. The town of Baguio in the Philippines gets hammered by a huge earthquake. 7.7 on the Richter scale. It's bad. Really bad. More than 100 people dead. 700 missing. A whole lot more injured. And 20,000 are homeless. Rescue workers from Virginia arrive, wanting to help out. You can see scenes like families outside uh, praying, hoping that they find someone else, you know, that family member is alive in the building. This is, or was, the Hotel Nevada. It's where a lot of people died. And there's a guy buried alive inside. His name is Maya. Philippine miners have been trying to dig him out for 40 hours. The American Rescue Team steps in. The local people have felt that he was so deeply entombed that there was no chance that he was going to be rescued. Aftershocks hit the area over and over. The building's about ready to go. We've got a significant aftershock right now. These people are probably exiting the building right now. But that doesn't stop these guys. They use a fiber optic scope to look for Maya. Maya! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it. They gotta be really quiet to hear him through the mounds of rubble. All right, Mayo, am I touching you? Okay, that's you. They find you. Put your hand out. Okay, good. All right, there we go. We can see his hand, uh, and that was the big turning point for us. Mayo, let's get to totally, totally flat. So put your hand up, cause we're gonna cut with a saw. The building's still getting rocked by aftershocks. It's super dangerous to stay inside, but these rescuers ain't going nowhere without Mayo. After every aftershock, he, he made sure that we were still there, that we didn't leave him there. It takes several more hours. Then they see Mayo's face. When he pushed his glasses back up on his head so he could look at us, he was so grateful to, to see another human being without having to be in the dark or anything like that. So, I mean, the expression on his face and him pushing his glasses up will always stick in my mind. Medics give him an IV. The rescue guys can't get him out just yet because his left foot stuck under a concrete beam. Two more hours of cutting and praying, and finally they lift up the beam. Keep your eyes closed. You're coming out, buddy. He's free. Miles been trapped for 56 hours. He was so grateful that he was, uh, you know, he wanted to shake hands with everybody and everything. And of course, at this point, the only thing we're worried about is we got to get him out before this building falls down. They get him out in the nick of time. Soon after, the building collapses. Later, Mayo comes to America to thank the rescue dudes again for saving him from his own personal hell.